Good morning, McCall. This is Damon Johnson, your host, and today I am at SHOT Show, day number two. I have survived, and I really want to introduce you to a, to an Idaho entrepreneur, Caldwell, Idaho, Don Suggs. Don, thanks for having me in. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Very good. You enjoying good. it? I, I am. I've been to other shows, but this show has something new to see every day. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? And I can't believe it, but there are 41 companies from Idaho. And I really want to talk about this one, Rhino Safe. Okay. Um, so I was, uh, I was a fighter pilot in the, the Idaho Air National Guard um, out of Boise and flying part-time, essentially, as a guardsman. And I had, so I had some spare time. And so I, I started uh, initially working on airplanes, building my own kit plane, and I... I vol started volunteering for a, a World War II airplane, a restoration project that a local businessman had in Boise. And um, he, I guess he must have liked what he saw. He hired me to run the project. And so after a couple of years, I had two or three employees. So we transitioned the company into a, into a welding business, um, welding and fabricating. And we made parts for like onion harvesters and farm or different farm and mining equipment. Um, and then about two years later, my father, uh, when my daughter was born, my father decided the day after she was born that suddenly all the guns that had been stuffed under his bed while I was growing up and in the closet needed to go in a gun safe. That's very responsible. Yes. Um, only thing was when he went to the, to the sporting goods store in Boise and looked at the gun safe, he had sticker shock. And he came home and he said, hey, build me a box. Like, it doesn't need to be pretty or anything. So I went and looked at the safes in the store, and I thought, I saw how they were built, and I, and I and realized I could do the same thing. I work with metal, why not? Right, okay. so um, I made four, gave him one, the other three sold before they were even painted and finished, and it just, it slowly developed from there. Um, and I was, uh, I also got hired by United Airlines during that time and started working for them and um, and kept trying to build that safe business, although I was still primarily a fabrication business. Um, and then uh, when United declared bankruptcy, they furloughed me, which was like only two and a half years after I got hired by them. And I, I went full time to Rhino Metals. Every, so, um, and that's when I really started focusing on building the safe business. And what year was that, more or less? Um, so that was in 2002. 2002. So um, then we, about 2000, we started picking up some major accounts in the middle, in like 2006. Okay. We got into Costco in 2008. Wow. And we've been in big Costco. Big milestone. Yeah, that was a big milestone. And we were pretty small, um, but we focused on quality. Um, and customer service and so we've been able to s stick with them and keep them happy and um, they're very you know customer service is like top for them and that's always been one of our focuses but gun safes are still you know I, I really enjoy designing things like this this so. is a really unique design and, and I'm curious was this at all close to the first safe that you made for your dad no the first safe we made was your typical high gloss like automotive finish safe with pretty gold filigree and pinstriping on it. Okay. Um, it took me about, about well, I, I developed this in two, 2012, okay. is when we started coming out with this. And I had been trying to come up with something that was different than just painting a safe a different color. Um, and, and, you know, it's a box, right? I mean, how are you gonna make it sexy? How are you gonna make it different, better? Right. It's a box that you put rifles in, so... My wife might let me put this in the, right. in the house, right? Right, I mean, that was one of the design criteria. Let's make something that's actually a piece of furniture um, and that that is, doesn't just appeal to males. It's almost like a piece of art. So so can we uh, can we take a look inside? Yeah, yeah, right. sure, let's, let's do that. All right, so in addition to the ironworks look that we have a patent on, we have Velcro on the bottom of the shelf. You, you can line up firearms around the back of this rack um, simply by sliding the, uh, the rod in the barrel. 
and then uh, moving the barrel up. You can see that it holds the firearm up pretty well. This safe can hold how many guns? Well, it's it has a certain amount of guns that it says on the you know on the uh, as far as the slots. This is a, a 68 long gun, but yeah. you could get more in there, especially if you use these rods. All right. The slot count is based on 13 slots here, the number of slots on the shelves, and a certain amount there. But it all depends on how many scoped rifles. But you should be able to get 60 to 80 easy, especially. If all these these rods will increase your capacity at least 30 percent over a normal gun safe interior okay uh, they're they're great products um, and they allow you to um, your firearms can be stored perfectly vertical whereas normally you have to lean it right so these will hold them perfectly vertical it allows you to get them in a lot tighter and you can put them in an angle it's it's much better than a than a gun slot system that's fantastic. So what's the, uh, the temperature rating or the minute length in a fire? All right, so, um, so this is a 130 minute fire rating. Mm -hmm. This particular safe has two fire seals on the door, one here, and then there's another one here in the door. You know, the steel body and the fire lining is what gives it the rest of its fire protection. Okay. And most of these safes, people don't realize that, that these safes are using sheetrock for fire protection. Now you'll see some safes out there that have like ceramic wool in them and things. We actually tested that and it, it doesn't work as well as sheetrock. And the reason why is sheetrock has 20% water, like moisture content in it. It's, it's basically plaster, right? okay? And in a fire, that, pla that moisture has to be like boiled out. It's a process called calcification. Okay. It, it takes a lot of energy to do that. And so you have to pump a lot of energy into it, a lot more than if you're just trying to heat up air. Okay. Um, and so... So and all that helps in the resistance of right. any sort of fire or heat damage. Right. So the more, the more sheetrock, and like this, this safe has, it probably has, you know, it has, I think it has like four layers. Um, this has got three layers in the wall and four layers in the ceiling of five-eighths inch sheetrock. You know, so... Um, it's almost that's like three inches up there and and that stuff you have to cook all the moisture i mean it probably has in this safe there's probably 300 pounds of sheetrock right 20 percent of its water that has to be cooked out so that's i don't know if you want to include that but that's a little thing that a lot of people don't understand for sure it's uh it's something unique and again uh to see this sort of production out of a company from Idaho is exactly the story we want to tell. So that's that's great. Um, what I'd like to do in the, the next show is stop by and, and visit you in Caldwell and see your, your factory and, and see you guys at work. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. You're welcome. Hey, thank you very much for having me on the show. Yeah, Don, welcome to visit anytime. It was a pleasure. Thank you.